We play and call it work. A Carithius Gorborn. It is said he was struck down and killed during a small raid on the seventh moon of Dobin Sept. His hunger for destruction was greater than most Chaos Raiders, and because of this, Korn had given him an opportunity. In death, he was no use to anyone. So the Blood God bathed him in the crimson pool left by his slaughtered foes. Warp power surrounded him, and as the powers of Chaos fed into his soul, he felt the power seeping into him as if he stood next to the Skull Throne itself. In an explosion of carnage, and as the red mist cleared, he could only hear the raspy breath of the newly reborn and now Lord of Chaos. With malice in his tone, he speaks, I am Goreborn. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com here with Mini Wargamer Josh. Welcome, Wargamers, to the Ascension of Madness. This is the narrative campaign, the side-scroller campaign that you have been watching. And if you haven't been watching, we invite you to go back, watch the previous episode so that you can see exactly what's happening in this unique and special campaign, the first of its kind. We have never done this before, and it is very fun and exciting. Very excited for this particular mission because it is corn. That's what it is. You now have your full team and of a power five. Sword. And a power <laughs> sword, very important. There's no excuses now. We can pull out all the stops and we can just throw whatever we want at your team of Blood Angels. For the Chaos Lord, it is Acarithius Gorborn. Thank you very much, Christopher Hooven, for coming up with the fluff and backstory of this Chaos Lord. Very cool, very unique. And let us show you the board because this board is dangerous. It's a very corny board, man. And you're going to be... You're actually going to probably be thinking, like, how will I even survive this entire thing? That's what I've been thinking each time. <laughs> <laughs> Primary objective in this mission for Josh is to destroy five of these vats of boiling blood, which are demonically possessed. In order to do so, he'll need to pass a successful initiative test, and the spirit will be unleashed. If he fails the initiative test, it will supercharge it's going to overload and the demon will be unleashed throughout the entire level that he's on and he'll suffer a strength d6 ap d6 hit every single guy individually so you don't want that to happen you don't want to fail in addition to this josh will look forward to two loot crates scattered randomly on the board it's gonna be a nice surprise whenever he gets it He'll be able to add permanently to his stats if he rolls a 2 plus. If he rolls a 6 on a d6, then he'll get to roll twice on the Chaos Boon table, disregarding Spawn Hood and Dark Apotheosis. For each new level Josh enters, I'll be able to roll on the Blood Tide table and add the result to whatever enemy units that are on that current level. So if on the first level, I'll add one to my roll on the Blood Tide table. It's going to get progressively worse for Josh. And that is very, very exciting. I'm excited for this. Taken straight from the Corn Demon can book. Let's see what happens. All right, Josh, there's your team. That's where you start on the board, and you need to work your way up. On the level above, they know that there are eight Corn Berserkers there. Corn Berserkers do not know that you are here, but you know that they are there, which means that you are given the tactical advantage of how to advance and attack them first. At the same time, you notice there's a corn spawn on the ledge on the other side. And he is a beast. He's able to hop over, no problem. Just so you are aware. Mm. So you got to figure out how to do this without being attacked from behind. Splitting up your guys if you wish. Keeping them all in the same blob if you wish. Whatever your tactic is, it's up to you to choose. You also notice behind the corn berserkers, you have a loot crate and you have a vat of boiling blood. Blood that's being prepared for the cultists. Or might be the cultists. <laughs> it's corn, you never know. Alright Josh, what are you going to decide to do? Leave with that corn berserker squad. I mean, I want to get the charge off against you. I don't want to get charged by them. You have plasma pistol, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and be aggressive and go after them. Now the champion there does have a power sword. 
Just so you're aware. How come it took so long for me to get a power sword? Well, because you have to earn it. I'll fight mine. He's been fighting for 10,000 years. How long have you been fighting? I don't know. Two months? A couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. Your team has now moved up. Now for the psychic phase. Let's see how many warp charges I can get here. Okay, so five total. On the Sanguinary Discipline, rolling for the quickening. Warp charge one. I'm gonna throw everything at it because I really want this. Perils. Huh. No, not perils, and you definitely get it, and I don't think I can stop that. Plus three initiative and attacks. We'll go on Errol. No, not Errol. Levetto. Levetto. As much as I want them to go on Errol. You wanted to go on your, oh, plus one. Well, it's actually plus enough. One initiative attacks, it. yeah, I'm fine with that. That's enough, you're higher initiative than me, and that's the most important thing. Shooting phase! Starting with? Uh, we'll start with the bolt pistols. I'm gonna go for those bolt pistols sitting on threes. To it. Three. I want to see a reaction. Let's get a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> One. Three. Next up, we got Nardo with his plasma pistol out front, shooting it off. Hitting on a two. And wounding on a two. That's a wound. Arcavius next with his infernal pistol. Hitting on a two. That's a miss. Atta boy. Declaring an assault, I will overwatch. Starting with the plasma pistols, getting two sixes. The ones. Oh, that was going to be a six. You're lucky. Five bolt pistols now. One hit. Nothing. Five inch charge. And you make it with an 11. First things first, Levetto will issue a challenge. I will accept with the Skull Champion. A champion of chaos never denies a challenge. Arcavius and Nardo have some Hammer of Wrath attacks. Nardo at base strength five, he'll do his first wounding on a three. That's a wound. And Arcavius wounding on a four. That's a wound. Oh, one dies from it. Five attacks with Levetto because he has the quickening. Plus one attack here, so hitting on four. Threes. Oh, you're up skill five, you're right, yep. yeah. And then the bonus from the cup anyways, so I'm technically six. That's true. Wow. Because of Arcavia, so you're re-rolling these two and you're getting five hits in total. Winning on threes now because of Furious Charge. Yeah. Ugh. And because it's a power sword, that's just a death death. <laughs> yeah, initiative step pile in move now. Same initiative, we'll just attack at the same time. All the attacks are going on Errol because they're in base contact with him. You ready for it? Go for it. I will. Great. Hitting on fours. Rerolling for veterans of the long war. For the reroll. That's a little better. Four is to wound. That's a good Ugh. amount. Three up save. Three up save. Fail, fail, fail. Two fails. Feel the pain now. Four, Four. up. Ugh. One wound. <laughs> Next, Tarkovius hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Four hits. With Shred. Come on, get him. Ah, it's four wounds. Eve. Oh, two die. <laughs> Next up, we got Errol hitting on threes. Threes. Rerolling because of Zealot. Three hits. Zealous, man. It's kind of nice. Adding one to your weapon skill. It's kind of nice. Yeah. So, you're wounding here on. Uh, he's plus one strength as an upgrade and. So you're wounding on threes. Charge. Oh, jeez. Okay, you're winning on twos. Indeed. And you're uh, re-rolling because you're poisoned. Not that it matters. Okay. <laughs> and you consolidate two inches. And guess what? That spawn is now activated. And he's going to move towards you. You'll go right to the assault phase. Overwatch? Let's overwatch the heck out of him. Gaius Missile Launcher, hitting on a six. Miss. Nothing. That's a hit. 
Wounding on a two. That's a wound, and that is a wound because I got no save. Now, nothing. <laughs> I do have fleet. That's better. Corn, look at that. <laughs> and Levetto with the highest initiative, he actually goes in first. But I still need to roll for my mutated beyond reason and all of that. Mutated beyond reason. Okay, it looks like I rolled 2d6. Pick the highest for my random attacks. That's two attacks plus rage. That's four attacks. Levetto, three attacks. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, four attacks from the quickening. Oh, yes. Hitting on threes. Oh, wow. Four hits. Five's the wound, Josh. Needing two. Getting two. You slice through my armor. That's non existent. There's no more enemy units on this floor, so you're going to go ahead and move down to that loot crate. And Levetto will roll for the loot crate. You think he's earned it, Josh? Uh, he's definitely earned this one. Rolling a d6 now on this loot crate. Looking for a 2+. plus. Getting a 3. You roll once in the chaos boon. First die roll. A five. Second die roll. A four. Shred! Woo! That's actually really good. Congratulations to Levetto for becoming Shred with his power sword. His force sword, actually. True. Yeah. So, very good. Now you have that vat of boiling blood that you need to decimate and overload it. Who's going to do it? Uh, I don't think it really matters at this point. We're going to say, because Errol's the best, he's doing it. Errol moves forward. He's up to the task. And before you roll for this initiative test, Josh, would you like to move some of your uh, compadres back down a level? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> well, because I want to know if you want to move your guys down so that they all aren't possibly hit with a strength D6, D6 AP weapon. Something with the way you're smiling tells me that I shouldn't go back down. Well, you could always go and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to deal with whatever you have planned right now. <laughs> no, not yet. I'll take the strength D6. Hit. Wow. That's, it. That's each guy. That's fine. Yeah, even though there may be one unit, because they're independent characters. Yeah, every it makes sense everybody gets the hit. Every guy gets a different amount of hits. Every guy gets a D6 hit. Okay. Do you pass the initiative test? <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. Errol's just better than everybody else. Do you think He's so? Just monumentally better than everybody else. Well, He's does... the only one that passes all of his rolls all the time. Gaius just dies. Okay, you know, because you said that, Errol's gonna get hurt. He already got hurt. He doesn't even care. He He's care. awesome. He is awesome. Not gonna lie. With a chainsword. He's the most devastating character ever. But he wields a chainsword and a cup. <laughs> Josh, looking at the next level. Let's get up there and get this going. You notice that there aren't any enemies that you can see. You can go up. <laughs> you can go up the ladder. You can fly up. Whatever you want. What would you like to do? I'm just going up the ladder. Okay. I'll give the super friends together. Up the ladder they go. Alright guys, ghost is clear. They notice on the far end of the corridor there is another vat of boiling blood with demonically possessed innards. And behind them there's a ladder, or a staircase rather, leading up to the level above. After scanning the level, you hear a noise from up above. A blood-curdling order is belted out. Get them! <laughs> Chosen corn. Ooh. With power axes. Okay. Now they're specialized because they each have a power axe, which is scary. Obviously a custom unit for this campaign because not normally legal, but for this campaign, they're as legal as they're going to get. So they attack at a lower initiative. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how many I'll be able to kill before they get to swing. Yeah, 
But they do have uh, five attacks on the charge. Oh, they would too, wouldn't they? Yeah, because they get to charge you. Because it's their turn. Uh. Bolt pistols hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Ugh. Four wounds. Closest is Arcavius. Let's roll it up, see? Three of armor save. That's a wound. Feel no pain, four plus. He is lucky. See, arrow's the best. Get him, boys! Declaring an assault! Watch. Guys will overwatch first with his missile launcher, hitting out a six. That's a rocket launcher now. Why? Rockets rock and missiles miss. Ah -ha. Six, come on! <laughs> oh, he's still... <laughs> I think it's still a missile launcher. Yep. Sixes. Nothing. Oh, you're so lucky. That's a miss. And for Infernal Pistol. Six. Nope. Mm. Roll just as a formality. <laughs> and I, I think I can... Waste your good rolls. Go for it. We're coming to get you now. You're attacking a higher initiative because I have all power axes. So Levita will go first. Threes. And re-rolling for Zealot. That's three hits. Boon with Shred. Good thing for that loot crate. Ah, uh, there we go. Arcavius. Hitting threes. around threes. Re-rolling for Zealot. And how lucky is he? That's two hits. With shred. That's two wounds. Gaius, one attack. That's a hit. And wounding on a four. That's nothing. Good job, big guy. Errol will attack now. Hitting on threes. That's all hits. And wounding on threes. Or indeed. Rerolling because of poison. That's three wounds. Three up save. Three sixes coming up. We wanted a few in there. Oh, uh, one dies. <laughs> Initiative one. Might as well go for Nardo first here. Two attacks on threes. And wounding on twos. Getting two ones. Nope. So that's two deaths. But before they die, they get to attack. You got 15 attacks on Nardo. <laughs> and, and five attacks on Gaius. You got five on Gaius first? Alright, I'll do the five on Gaius first. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Just yeah, for you. Dice. Just for you. Okay, hitting on fours. And re-rolling for veterans. For the re-roll. That's a <laughs> little better. <laughs> That's a little better. Of Furious Charge. Oh. On second thought, I don't have Furious Charge. I do have Rage, which gives me the extra tax. So I'm wounding you on threes instead of twos. It'll Two wounds. Fine. Two wounds. That to death is only one wound. Injury chart. For Gaius, rolling on the injury table. Oh, and at oh. two, he's out of the game. <laughs> now for the attacks on Nardo, hitting on fours. Rerolling. Reroll. <laughs> <laughs> Threes to wound, Josh. Are you ready for it? So there should be, what, like ten wounds here? Oh, ah. We're on there. Got eleven. Eleven four up, feel no pain save. Can you make them? No problem. We're re ready? Ah. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's bad. Rolling for Nardo on the injury charts. This is a big deal. A little bit. He's, he's kind, kind of, of... He's worth a little more than Gaius. Yeah. Oh no! Is oh, that is this is game. going bad. Those guys died too. Rolling for leadership. I lost by one. I need to get a nine here. And a make it. Oh, your team is mad. And they all turn around, get into position, they attack first. Levetto first, he's gonna roll Psychic. He wants to get that Blessing off, so he gets more attacks. How many Warp Charges? Three, plus two is five. Beginning, Warp Charge one, getting it with two, and I'll try to deny that with three dice. Looking for sixes, nope. Should have been attacks on Levetto. Oh, three. He's angry. 
Assault phase, he's gonna go first. Levetto hitting on threes. And that's decent. Force the wound with shred. Rerolling the two. I got you anyways. That's true, that's only two guys. And the team consolidates and moves out closer to the blood vat. And they approach the vat. And as they approach, they notice that behind the vat, there are doggies. And so they come out from around. And this is a narrow pathway, so only one can fit at a time. Okay, good. Well, you get to Overwatch. Two bolt pistols. And you're gonna miss. Get them. You get with one. And you're gonna wound on a four. You're gonna miss it. And that's certainly a miss. Infernal pistol from Arcavius. Oh my goodness! Wounding on a four, two. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> One job. You really needed that. You that would have helped monumentally. I think so. Here's my charge. I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. I just moved my doggies in. But that's six inches enough to get them in. Something I failed to do with the Chosen is actually roll on the blood tide table. I'm going to do it now for the flesh hound. See what happens. Alright. So technically I'm adding two to this roll, because this is the second level that you're on, and that's what we declared. So, Unstoppable Ferocity. I can choose between that or Insatiable Bloodlust. I'll choose Insatiable Bloodlust because I get Furious Charge and Rage. I'm a demon in a corner, mm. I already have Furious Charge, but the Rage will help me here. 20 attacks, Josh. Mm. Hitting on fours. Winning on threes for Furious Charge. Six wounds, Josh. The obvious three up save. Oh! Oh no. Feel the pain. Oh, it oh, takes a one. wound. Now for your attacks back. On threes. Arcavius first. Oh, look there at that. Go. Wounding on twos. Indeed. And that's three wounds. Oh, look at that. One wound on one dog. Oh, we'll go next. Hitting on threes. Rerolling for Zealot. Three wounds. Hits, rather. Now wounding wounding on a fours, but rerolling. Uh, I think he's wounding on... What toughness is Actually, I'm wounding uh, toughness fours. So you're wounding on threes. Okay. Rerolling. Because of poison. That's three wounds. Cool. So a dog dies and another one is wounded for one. Actually, two die, because that's three more wounds. I failed. A Levetto. And re-rolling for Zealot. Hitting on threes. That's three hits. Winning on fours with cool. shred. Rerolling the one. Miss. One more wound. I lost, but I'm fearless, Josh. Taken out of the Corn Demon book. It's better. Just a little bit. And I'm piling in. Next round of combat. Before we go to the next round, though. Arcavia says, I see aura. Wounds on a four here. That's a wound. And a five up invuln, and I die. And since there was a third dog that was wounded for one, that actually removes one more because another full dog is dead. You dog killer, man. It sounded much more horrible than it was intended. Levetto, rolling for psychic phase now on your turn. Warp charges. Getting five, plus two is seven. Six dice being thrown at the quickening, needing warp charge one, getting three, three sixes. Not a single one. Arcavius now. So D3 bonus initiative and attacks. Wow. Arcavius will attack first with highest initiative and six attacks, hitting on threes. Wow. Just with shred. Good thing too. Five wounds. So another dog and a half dies. The rest of the dogs move in. Three of the dogs there, they're going to attack normally, 
but the fourth one who's in base contact with you, he's going to attempt to throw you over the side. Ooh, okay, so pose strength rolls? Yes, that's right, strength okay. rolls. So we'll do the normal attacks first, and then we'll do the strength rolls. Six attacks here from the three dogs. Hitting on fours. Winning on fours. Wow, nothing. Now for an opposed strength test. You ready, Josh? Ready. Adding it to your strength. Two, five. Oh! And Rakavius picks up that flesh hound and throws him over the railing. And attacking with your other team members, starting with who, Errol? I'll do Errol. Hitting on threes. Wow. Now he's, he's good. Shred? Actually, uh, poison. poison. Three wounds. Five up in vuln. That's another dog dead. For Levetto. Hitting on threes. Oh. Mm. Wound. And a five up in vuln. Fail. Next round of combat, probably the last round. And one dog will attack you normally, the other one will try to rip you apart and throw you over the railing. Here's the normal attack. Arcavius gets to swing first. What are you talking about? You're Cheer, right. Cheap pants. You are right. <laughs> well, okay, let's see. I'm just gonna you, you can keep your roll. Right, I'll keep the roll and watch this. Okay, you have to make one save if I survive. But you're absolutely correct. You attack me first. Oh Three. no! Twos! Three... five up saves. Oh! Oh! Looks like I was alive. Do the icy aura that I forgot around last combat. <laughs> okay, five up. There he uh, is. I got punished. Now Arcavius needs to make his save. That's a save. Now for the opposed strength roll. Are you ready for this? Go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite your arm and I'm gonna toss you over. Hey Josh? Yeah, go for it. Oh, there Beat you that. go. I missed the you trick. You one. <laughs> Levetto going first now, hitting on threes. Wow, he does nothing. <laughs> he atomic bombs himself. <laughs> Two. Now wounding on threes. Rerolling. Doesn't need it. Five up in bomb. He did. You got this vat of boiling blood that you need to disseminate, deminiminate. You gotta destroy it. You ready? Initiative test. Are you ready? First off, do you want to put any other guys on a lower level to protect them? No, because you keep smiling every time you say that. <laughs> and after the Nurgle mission, I assume you built something in to not let me do that. What makes you think that, Josh? I'm not saying I don't trust you, it's just that I don't trust you. <laughs> so why don't you just go and no, test it? No! No! So you're gonna make all of them no. get hit with something That's and fail fine. initiative. You're you okay probably, with this. You probably don't even have a plan if I go back down, you're just doing this. Okay, well, I, if I don't have a plan, no. you should do it then. No! Not yet, maybe at the end. So who's gonna do it? Errol. Why Errol? Because Errol's never knocked himself out of a game by jumping off a ledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, Errol and Arcavius switch places, and Errol will be the one to activate this vat. Here's the initiative test. Oh! oh! Errol! What was that that you said about Errol? What? He can only roll high. <laughs> Errol is going to take a strength d6 hit. This is the strength. Four, okay, not so bad. Two, and how many? Just one hit. Wounding on a four at AP two. Nothing! This is uh, strength a D6, strength one. Mm -hmm. AP six, how many of these? Five. Wounding on sixes, Josh. Getting one. Fort Philippine. That's a save. Two. Wounding you on six this year. One wound. Actually, no. If you do, it's four pinvol. Four pinvol save, yeah. Fail. Uh huh. Feel the pain. Oh. Oh, he gets wounded. Well, you survived. 
You got three more vats to go. You got three squad members left. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah there, boy. And your teammates are gonna move down the corridor towards the staircase. Dun, 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 dun. You're gonna walk over the dead bodies, those chosen, towards the staircase. Your teammates notice the level up above has some blood letters on there. What are they gonna do? I think I'm setting up everybody again. Gonna keep them as a group. Really? Yep. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I can't let you charge me. And so, you're gonna move up? I'm just moving up. And you're 100% sure? 100% sure. Okay. And up they go. And the blood letters become alerted. Levetto doing a psychic phase. Warp charges. Five. Rolling for the quickening. Warp charge one. Try to figure out how much you want to throw here. Uh, I'll throw five at it. All right. <laughs> Barrels. I'll try to deny that. Not quite. Rolling for perils. Oh. You suffer a wound. This is mental purge, and you lose a power for the rest of the battle. Doing a one to four. Do I gotta reroll that. Yeah, re that boy. That. So which one is number one, and which one is number which one? What are the numbers here? Uh, you wanna go force the primaris, and then fear the dark, and then quick. Quickening. What was the last one? I, no, what was the last one I got? Uh, the lance. Yeah. The lance would be four. Okay, sure. No more force. Oh well. The quickening still went off, so D3, I got... Okay. Or Kavius is one extra initiative and one extra attack. Okay. It's... Rolling to hit with who? I'm looking at maybe, I don't know, do I want to grenade you? Yes. Whose arrow's going to throw the grenade? Okay. So Josh, you're choosing to throw a frag grenade at them? Yep. Okay. Let them. So you get a, for the direct hit, the most you can cover is four. Ah. Direct it. Wounding on four. Fives. Wounding well, on actually, five. What's your toughness? My toughness is three. Okay, so I'm wounding on fours. You are. Well, that's two wounds. One dies. Two. <laughs> Infernal pistol. Hitting on a two. Wounding on a two. Winning on a three. That's a miss. Rolling for the charge. Getting a seven. That's enough. Arcavius is going to swing first. Hammer wrath from Arcavius. That's a nothing. And he'll actually swing first. Five attacks on the charge because of the quickening. Hitting on threes. Oh, five hits. Oh, five wounds. Five up inbound save. Three die. <laughs> Pile in. For the rest of the guys attacking, starting with... Uh, we'll do Lovetto. All right. Threes. All hits. Wounding on. Threes with Shred. There you go. Two more die. Zealot to help. Three hits. Re rolling the one. Three more wounds. No. Oh! Not today. Oh. <laughs> I'm fearless. I stay in combat. It's the next round of combat. It is my turn. I'm going to roll oh, in the blood swing type. Now. You, you didn't swing that round of combat yet. I don't even remember. I know you don't. Well, then that's very honest of you. I'm trying my best. And to I go. was actually testing you. <laughs> and you passed the test. I'm attacking Errol. Why are you picking on Errol? He's got feel of pain. All hits. I'm gonna be forced to wound you. Okay, let's see you do it then. Well, then I will. Good. There's Oops. two wounds. Fail on both. Oh, you're lucky. 
Now it's time for an icy aura. And a wound gen of three. Okay, five up in one. Oh, you're lucky again. You killed me. Looks like you killed fire with ice. And further on down this corridor, you notice another blood vat at the end of the hall. And the team will move up to it. So who's doing the dirty work here? Who's going to press the button? <sighs> okay, I... Errol. I have faith in Errol again. Errol he again. I have faith that he'll roll high again. So this is final position of you guys. Change my mind. Our is going to do it. All right. Initiative test. Do you unleash this demon? Oh, Ooh. you're lucky. From your current vantage point, you don't see any enemies in the immediate near upper level. Hmm. Hopefully you understood what I just said. I, I, yeah, no. Yeah. I understood. That's good. I don't like it. Okay. So what you going to do? Uh, let's just move up. All right. And now that you're on this level, you notice that down the corridor, you see something. To your surprise, there continues to be no enemies on this level, and there is another vat of blood. Uh, let's just go for it. Okay. And they all move up, and Arrow once again will attempt to dismantle such vat. Initiative test, do you make it? Yeah. Oh, the luck. Oh, what do they notice on the level above? There's a loot crate at the top of that ladder. Do they go for it? Yes. And your teammates have moved, and who's going next to the crate? Lovetto. You really want to build them up, don't you, Josh? I, it's, his, it's his time to get some advancements. You think so? I think so. Rolling a d6, looking for a 2+. plus. On a 6, you roll twice. That's rolling once. First die roll. Okay, that's oh, off. That, that, that was bad. Okay, six and a two. Fleet. Why'd you take a look at what's on the other side of that open area? It's the last one. It is the last one. How are you gonna reach it? Are you gonna go down? Or are you gonna oh. jump across? Because if you go down. Crap, did you trick me into going down a level now? I may have. <laughs> hey, you could have gone up first on the other side. You chose to be greedy. Okay, but I. Okay, I'll go down. So, Josh. I no, just no. Th this is amazing. I love what it's about to happen. I think you're gonna like it too. Would you like to see what you're about to like? No, I don't. I'm going home. <laughs> so they go back down on the level below. Y yeah. And guess who's waiting for them? Great! Oh, yes! Josh, remember that Chaos Lord that you didn't defeat a few missions ago? Yeah, vaguely. Premium Perfection Personified? How he escaped? He actually beat the crap out of you and then he left? Yeah, that's actually... I, I do recall something like that happening. Something like that? Well, he's doubly mad because not only is he back to get you, but he's in a corn level. Which means his Slanesh mark doesn't appreciate. Which means he's twice as angry. First things first, Josh. Gonna shoot you. This is Melta. Oh, he's got the con- oh. He does have it. Hitting you on a two. It'd be embarrassing when you roll one. That's a four. That's a one. That's a roll on the injury chart. All right, Josh, you've been unlucky with your rolls. Do you continue to be unlucky with your rolls? Uh, it's not right. great. So he's stunned, right? He's stunned. So it becomes face down. Ugh. And I overwatch. Well, you better. I'm going to. You better do something. What you gonna get? Inferno pistol. Well, all right. Ready for the six? Ready? Ready, ready, ready? ready? Get a five. Oh, uh, it's four. Both wrong. Miss. Since I killed your guy, I need three inches to charge. 
and I get it with an eight. Oh, and Corn wants it. And he goes in for the assault. As a champion of chaos, he will issue a challenge. Arcavius. Arcavius gonna take it. Arcavius. Arcavius moves in, accepts the challenge. Three attacks, hitting on threes. Fours. No, fours actually. It's still fours, yeah. yeah. He's room skill six, right? Yeah. And you're also six. Uh, Rerolling two for Zealot. That's two hits. Good. Two wounds. Three up saves. Two saves. Arrow attacks now. Get him. That's three hits to wound. Rerolling for poison. Poison. Ooh. Three wounds. Fail it. Just fail it. One okay. wound. Now it's time for him to attack you. Hitting on fours. Rerolling for hatred. Ooh. Two. Two wounds. No. Oh, and it goes through. Rolling on the injury chart for Arcavius. Need think a five or six. Oh, he's out of the game. And poor Arcavius is out of the game. But before we forget, Arcavius gets his icy aura attack before he is removed. Wounding on a four. Nope. Rolling on the Chaos Boon for premium. Three. Three. That is plus one toughness. <laughs> Great. Ooh, that's right, Arrow. Take away your poison reroll. And you pile in at the end of combat. There. We'll go on his back. Huh. Arrow attacks first. Forced it. That's three hits. Force the wound, no reroll. Because I'm higher strength. Oh, that's a save. I just remembered. He's Emperor's children. So he gets a six up feeling pain. Get that one wound I managed to cause. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it. And rolling for it. Oh, see, he's terrible. I'm attacking you back, Josh. You ready for it? I am. Force to hit you? Force the enemy. Because you're weapon skill six. Actually, no, uh, oh, yeah, no, he's weapon skill six with the cup, yeah. That's one hit. You're hoping for a one Roll here, Josh. On. Oh, that, no. no that, that's a wound. <laughs> Rolling on the injury chart for Levetto, not for Errol, rather. <laughs> okay, so he's knocked down. He's still in the game. <laughs> Next round, Josh. <laughs> hey, you know what? You had the option of hopping over. You didn't have to go back down the ladder. I know. What? It's what, why? I said I was gonna do it in the last one. You did. I did say I was gonna do it. You did, didn't you? Yeah. So that's happening. <laughs> he's beating you. This is the second time he's beating you, man. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> now see, you're on the ground, so he just basically auto hits. Yeah, you auto hit, and as long as you uh, successfully wound a guy that's knocked down, then I'm just kind of mm. out of the game. He is out of the game. I have to focus my attacks here, so all on arrow. Yep. Two's to wound. He's out of the game. <laughs> now on your turn, Josh, you stand up with Levetto. Now, well, technically, we're still in combat because you're part of the same unit. Okay, yep. But you do get your psychic phase. Good thing for me, you killed your force ability. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. So, rolling for warp charges. Two plus two is four. And. All you can go for is the quickening. The initiative's not going to help because I got to swing an initiative one for standing up, but the extra attacks might help. Yep. So, warp charge one. Back in, I can't, I can't deny it. D3 attacks. D3 extra. Oh, that might help. Rolling at the same initiative now. Since it's your turn, why don't you go ahead and roll first. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours, right. I don't get the cup around to help anymore. It's two hits. Wooding on fours. Fives. 
because you get the bonus toughness. I do have toughness higher, you're right. All right, Josh, forced a wound. Fives, with shred though. Fives a wound, we just went over this. <laughs> wound, because of sigil. Oh, killed another character, so I roll on the chaos boon again. Four, and four. That gives me Crusader, which is useless right now. Now hit you back with three attacks, hitting on threes. Three hits, winning on twos. Oh, Josh. Rolling on the injury chart. You're knocked down. Now on my turn, I move up to you. And let's see if I can finish you off. Winning on twos, Josh. Yeah, there it is. There it is. He's out of the game. And premium perfection personified is the champion of this level. Wow. Craziness. He will I can't go back. Kill him. He's your nemesis, man. He's gonna go back into the darkness and he may or may not pop up again. That's it, Josh. What do you think? I need to kill that stupid chaos lord. <laughs> Oh. All right, we gotta roll for injuries for you Right, guys. we gotta see what happens to all five members of the team. All five. On the plus side, Josh, you did fight a Chaos Lord this turn, which means you get an upgrade point automatically. Had you defeated him, you would have received D3 upgrade points to give to your characters. Starting with Arcavius. Here it is, Josh, special injury chart. Basically, you roll a three plus and you're good. You can return next game full recovery. Roll anything else and you're a little bit in trouble. Full recovery. Next up, we have Nardo. Full recovery. Whew, so far so good. Gaius. Oh, what happens to him? Up. Now you're rolling an additional D3. Getting a five, so you are wounded pride. Minus two to your leadership. Errol next. He's your heavy hitter. There you go. He's full recovery. And now Levetto. Come on. Oh, you get a one. So on a one here, this is nuts, okay? Yep. So one to three, you're dead. And a four to six, you're maimed. You're hoping for a maimed here. <laughs> yes. Oh. So okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then another D6 roll to see because he's going to actually lose a stat here somewhere. Rolling a D6 now. Let's see what happens. Which is minus one ballistic skill. Oh, okay. Not too, too bad. He only has a bolt pistol. And who are you choosing, Josh, to upgrade with your one uh, upgrade point? Lovetto seems like the choice. Bringing him to level three, he has Terminator armor, five up invuln save, a two up save. He's got a force axe, shredding, very good. And you have four wounds because you're at level three. He is a beefy guy now. He is. Vault members, stay tuned for our next mission. We'll be fighting this Chaos Lord of Corn, Acarithius Gorborn, in his level you stand to get D3 upgrade points should you defeat him, and it will be a tough match. Molten beams will be falling from each level, possibly hurting you. We've got a brand new custom mission set up for you, Josh. Nice. If you're not a vault member, we invite you to click on the link below, sign up for a seven day free trial to the mini Wargaming vault so that you can gain access to this mission, as well as the entire campaign. All of the missions that are in the vault, you'll be able to see them as well. Thank you very much, and happy wargaming.